Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great start to your Tuesday. Yesterday, our average cloud cover here in Rockford was at 90%. Yesterday marked the first time that we got to see the average cloud cover at the airport less than 100% since New Year's Day. So it's been quite a while since uh, we've had the average cloud cover under 100%. But this morning, thanks to clearing overnight, we're going to get a great view of that sunrise. The first time in the state line that we actually get an opportunity to watch the sunrise in 2021. Remember, it's been so cloudy since the start of 2021 that we haven't seen much sunshine. But today, that is going to break that streak. Looking outside this morning, pretty quiet with temperatures in the mid-20s. But with that light wind out of the southwest, we do have those wind chills down into the teens. So you're definitely going to want to make sure to get that heavier jacket on before stepping out the doorway. And we did have a good amount of clearing overnight last night, and that does make for a good chance to see some patchy fog or patchy frost on your vehicles this morning. So just make sure to give your car a couple of minutes to warm up before hitting the roadways. But pretty quiet out there for the morning commute. You can see temperature wise, we're down into the 20s with DeKalb, our coolest spot at 18 degrees. Winds are out of the southwest right now about 5 to 10 miles per hour so that's why wind chills are down into the teens this morning but a lot of clearing out there a good opportunity to see that sunrise this morning cloud cover is increasing from the northwest so that's going to make for a mix of clouds and sun for our tuesday but overall we are going to stay dry for the rest of our day today you can see pretty dry conditions for much of the middle of the united states there is a weak disturbance that is now making its way down from the upper midwest and that's what's going to increase cloud cover going into the late morning hours and into the afternoon. But future cast showing pretty quiet conditions going into the afternoon. I think we'll see uh, more clouds than sunshine. It's going to be filtering in through some clouds, but overall today's going to be a really nice day to get outside and enjoy that not only sunshine, but also a little bit warmer temperatures for the afternoon. We should top out in the mid thirties. Then tonight that cloud cover does make its way back in. We'll turn mostly cloudy by tomorrow morning, especially by tomorrow afternoon. And that is going to lead to not only cloud cover, but a chance to see some rain and snow. And that's all with a very strong system that's going to be coming down from southern Canada and also into the upper Midwest. We're going to see warmer temperatures ahead of that system because winds are going to be out of the southwest into Thursday morning. But once that strong cold front pushes through, that's going to allow that very cold air to usher in from the northwest. So a mix of rain and snow at the start of the event. Then that cold air rushes in. That's going to transition it to snow. And then there could be a, a light accumulations once we get into Friday afternoon. But strong winds are also going to return. And that's going to allow high temperatures to tumble into the weekend. 35 degrees for a high today. Patchy morning frost giving way to filtered sunshine tonight. We'll stay with mostly cloudy skies as clouds fill back in areas of fall and then temperatures by tomorrow morning in the mid 20s. Seven day forecast. You can see we do warm up into the upper 30s Wednesday and Thursday. A lot colder though once we get into the following weekend. Back to you guys.